This is James, and James has a large box. Where did that box come from, dude? This box come from China. Oh, and was it expensive? Um, a little bit. Uh -huh. Not too bad. <laughs> How's it going Chasers? I hope you're having a kick-ass week. I'm Jesse and this is Still It. This video is going to be about a whole lot of different things. Uh, the experience of buying the Still, whether the Still itself stacks up to expectations, uh, the experience of getting the Still put together and operational, and ultimately whether or not James uh, has decided that buying the still in the way he did from the people he did was the best option for him. So let's get back to James's place where we're going to be pulling everything out of the big old box, starting to get it put together, and we have a very special, very special guest that's uh, going to help us decide whether or not these guys have made a quality still or not. Let's have it. James, what is this? This is my new still. Awesome, sir. Where did you get it from? I got it from China. So you've been waiting for a very long time to yep. see this thing, and now I'm holding you up. Yep, yep. Uh, how good. much did you spend on it, sir? Um, including getting it into the country, about 6,000 New Zealand dollars. We also have Dana with us. Dana. Dana. I always do this! Dana with us, not Dana. I'm going to say it a hundred times over. I don't mean any disrespect <laughs> to you. Uh, and I really shouldn't disrespect this guy because, uh, honestly, I'm going to shake your left hand. Because I've got this in my right hand. <laughs> yeah, but uh, still it would not happened. Would not have happened without this fellow. So thank you so much, sir. Uh, you have a special set of skills that makes uh, having you here today somewhat helpful for us to know whether or not this piece of equipment is worth it. Let us know. Well, I'm a plumber. Yep, he so is. I know a bit about water yep. and quite a bit about metals. And he's been putting kick-ass stills together for... I don't know, a long ass time. Yeah, fair yeah. while. What are your main concerns I about what you're going to find in here, dude? Like, I, um, I, I want to find a still that sort of I, I can use <laughs> um, out of the box-ish, I hope. Um, and uh, that it's put together with a, a reasonable quality, so um, yeah, it's not going to fall apart after a couple of uses. And, and, I think probably most importantly today, we want to make sure that you actually got everything you paid for. Uh, yeah. <laughs> First impressions, lads? Yeah, very tidy, very nice, pretty well finished. What are the sort of things you're looking at to see whether or not these people know what they're doing when they're welding this stuff together? Uh, looking at the um, quality of, of the TIG welding. Okay, yep. And in particular looking for what's happening on the back of the weld. Ah, okay, so um, on the, the hidden the, side, the inside. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and what sort of things, like, like what actual things are you looking for to to give the impression of subpar workmanship, for example? Like what would be a for, towel? For, for instance, if they hadn't uh, back perched with argon, okay. they, it would be all sugary on the inside. Ah, uh, okay. okay, yeah. Just so like, um, very small, lumpy, lumpy powdery yes, sort of, yes. yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, but everything looks clean? Everything looks fantastic so far. everything out of the boxes and we haven't really had any nasty surprises yet. No. No. Everything we were expecting to be there was there. Yeah, and a few more bits. <laughs> and a few more bits, yeah. yeah. Uh, but we did, you were saying that you had a slight issue where there was a part you expected was going to be here and it wasn't? It wasn't, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, um, when we opened the box first of all, there was a big hole, like an eight inch a hole at the top of the still and I realized that my column was like four inches and that all of the bits for the column were inside the still so based on that <laughs> if you've got a part like this which is eight inches and it won't go into a hole that is also eight <laughs> yeah. inches 
Um, so I figured that there was at least one part missing. So I checked with the nice guys at Oak Stills and they basically they put one of these, uh, a reducer, or an eight to four inch reducer into a box and got it here within three days. Which is bonkers. Absolutely nuts. And they, one of these Very as well and some um, of the um, caskets for it. So yeah, that was absolutely superb of them. So yeah, great up to the guys at uh, Oak Stills for that. Yeah, so it was a slight screw up that didn't come in the first place, but uh, I always feel it's not the screwing up that counts, it's the fixing the screw up. Yeah, it's the putting right, it's the putting right, right that yeah. counts. Yeah. <laughs> and they've done that. For today's philosophy lesson. Yeah. <laughs> We're not really going to know if we're missing pieces. Until it's put together. Uh, yeah. So Come over here, here Donna. So I'm, I'm looking at all these bits and man it's not bad at all not bad eh not bad at all and i'll tell you what uh if it wasn't you're not the sort of person to oh no i won't, <laughs> I won't pull any punches <laughs> yeah. yeah let's uh let's show this actually for that's example that's really heavy yeah so this is um the reflux condenser i have to imagine it is um and it is all stainless on the outside which is cool but all of the no, no it's this is copper that's not copper is it yeah See, he uh, will tell people when they're fucking up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not picking up your fingerprints, so I'd say it's, it's got a shellac of some sort on there. Crazy. Well, yeah. there you go. We have the, the still built, and as far as we can tell, we're not missing anything essential. Ah. But uh, we also don't have instructions, and we have extra parts. <laughs> we have a few running theories. What, what's your theory currently, James? Um, something to help flow back into the into the uh, pot, but right. Um, Donna, me. Um, I initially thought it was a, a water manifold. Yeah, I initially thought it was a water manifold too, but then we found some extra plumbing parts that we didn't know existed. Yeah. Dana. Yes. Oh, I see you doing that right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, so what do you think of overall quality, mate, now that we've got it all together and you can see how it fits together? Uh, fits, everything fits nicely. Certainly looks great. Time for a cleaning run. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Everything that we've put together so far looks really good. It's great, yeah. Yeah, really I think happy. it's really happy. Yeah. Awesome, man. Awesome. I'm glad to hear you're happy. It is definitely sexy as hell. Mm -hmm. The thing is that none of us are electricians. No. Fair ah. enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and this is big boy voltage. Yeah, what could go wrong? Uh, with <laughs> alcohol vapor and water and. <laughs> Yeah, we might uh, we might see if we can rope someone in to help us out with this. All right, guys, it is a month later, actually, isn't it? A month later, yeah. We had Christmas in between, but ta da! <laughs> We're all set up, and we are heating up the vinegar run. We are. Yeah. Oh, exciting! <laughs> exciting! Uh, so, a couple of things to catch people up on on what's been happening while. You've been working on this. Well, I, I haven't been able to be around. Uh, did you get a Sparky in? Yes, we got there. a Sparky in, yes. Okay, cool. And what was the verdict on everything that they'd produced for you? Um, right, so the verdict was good. Good. -ish, mostly, yep. yeah. So they did a good job of what they'd made? Yeah. Yep. Um, the control box could have been better, but um, it was a $70 control box. So Right. Was it safe? Yes, it was safe. Was it functional? Yes, it's functional. So it was just, it could have been implemented implemented a bit slightly better yeah. okay right i'm with you okay cool 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 uh what about getting it set up did you get all the electronic stuff set up by yourself uh no I okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah right That's I, I, I really had to call in the big guys okay. um so worked out pretty quickly we needed a 30 amp circuit yep. and they're not very easy to come to come around in the garage um so we needed to run a whole new 30 amp circuit um so that involved quite a bit of cabling um, and some hardware that, uh, so plug sockets right, uh, okay. in the roof, sort of up there. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, that all needed fitting. I fitted most of it and it's all been checked by the, uh, the Sparky. 
The other thing that I didn't know what you were going to do when we last saw you was you hadn't decided what to put into the jacket, whether you're going to use oil or so. So what did you what did you go with there? Then? Right. So I went with um, monopropylene glycol, which is antifreeze, um, but also cows like it. <laughs> um, which has got a boiling point of about 188 centigrade. It's not cheap. Uh, neither was the uh, heat transfer oil. That was even more expensive. Um, so I went with this and I put 20 litres into the uh, jacket and it didn't really seem enough. So I filled up another 20 litres of water. Um, so that'll bring the boiling point down a bit. Um, but yeah, hopefully it will, uh, there'll be enough in there to uh, see us through. We also weren't entirely sure what you were going to do about cooling this thing. How are you going to manage water? Um, what is the plan, dude? Right. What is this thing behind <laughs> us? Because look, look, guys. <laughs> right. So this is off a um, Subaru WRX. Um, it's a radiator. Uh, so I've taken that straight off with a couple of big fans, and um, I'm hoping that it's going to uh, cool the uh, the water down enough so I can run circulation. Um, with a big barrel I've got outside. Yes, yeah, so we've got a, a pump here. It's a um, just a, a water water pump. Pump the water in from the barrel outside. Comes in up through there, and I've got the basically straight flow through um, to keep the pressure down. So we're not plumbers. <laughs> we're, we're probably going to get this wrong, but the idea is that you don't want to be pumping a whole lot of water at a valve that's closed off or, or cinched almost all the way down to control flow. So you've got an overflow to direct water that we're not using in the condenser back yeah. over into the barrel. Yeah, something like that. Does that work? Uh, I think yeah. so, yeah. Plumbers, plumbers, get in the comments and tell us why we're idiots. <laughs> All right, mate, the electricity is on, the elements are heating up, the water is sorted, ready to go when we hit play, uh, and this thing is starting to get frothy. So how are you feeling, mate? I'm feeling pretty Me good. Toys. Feeling pretty good, yeah. <laughs> it's taken a long time to get to this, so uh, yeah, I'm feeling good. Unfortunately, being a dad got in the way just a little bit, and I ended up missing the rest of the vinegar run and the cleaning runs. But, but, I made sure to get back to James's place ASAP to catch a spirit run. Alright dude, so you've run this thing twice now, I wasn't able to catch the first run yep. on camera, but you've had some time to play with it. Big questions time. Number one, what do you like about the still? Like, what do you dig? I just like the way it works. Right. It's, it's a real still. Right, yeah. okay. Yeah. Oh, and we should probably say, uh, I don't know if we even mentioned this before, but before this you were using just a little tiny still. I, yeah, a little pot still, 25 litre, um, thing that was given to me really by a friend who uh, awesome. thought I could do with getting into a hobby. What do you think of the boiler? I love it. It's yeah, really right. good, yeah. 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 So I go towards gin, so uh, being able to make gin is going to be great. Um, I've got some neutral now to do that. Yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a bit of neutral, so I've got some playtime uh, coming ahead. But um, yeah, so I've done a, one TPW and one TFFB. How has the actual running of the still been compared to what you were expecting? It's a little bit harder. Just sort of finicky? Yeah, well with the old pot still you just turn it on and it just does what it does right. because there's no, uh, nothing to, uh, no moving parts. Right. Um, uh, with this one, um, you make a change to the power and it takes quite a while for it to uh, make a difference to the uh, temperature because it's the jacket. Right, yeah. Um, so there's a bit of a delay there. And then you've got water going everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. Do you think that is due to this specific still or just the plate design in general? Just the plate design in right. general. So there's yeah. nothing that you've ran into where the actual equipment you've bought isn't operating as it should be. It's it's just you're getting used to a new type of still. I'm just getting used to a new type of still, yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Even bigger question, what do you not like about this thing? Um it could do with a few extra bits and pieces. Okay. So um, it's a water jacket still. 
and I can't see how much water's in there. Oh, right, yeah, okay. Yeah. So having a sight glass to show you how much oil or whatever it is that you're using yeah. in the jacket, whether it's full or not, you just don't know. It's I, a decent I don't know, yeah. So I'm sort of experimenting with a hose and emptying it and filling it. So. Right. Um, I had a bit of an escape this morning, but <laughs> <laughs> not as much as the time before, so that's that's pretty good. Okay, cool. Yeah. You also mentioned that it doesn't entirely drain properly, the, the inside of the pot, yeah. because it's a flat bottom? Yeah, the, the bottom's flat, okay. um, and the, the fantastic agitator here sort of sticks into the hole a little bit as well. Okay. So um, the water doesn't quite drain out, or the uh, wash doesn't quite drain out properly at the bottom. Um, and I think the agitator might stop some of the big lumpy bits going down into the, uh, 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 the drain hole and I had a bit of a fun yesterday with that. Okay, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> just to let you know, you were doing a plum brandy? Plum brandy, yeah. On it, and you, you had a whole lot of stones get stuck. You couldn't drain them out. I even though it's got it. a dirty great big Two exhaust well. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then you flooded the place. I had a bit of a flood, yeah. Okay, I don't have video of that, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> We've all done it though, don't you lie to me. I know you've uh, spilt stuff all over your garage floor already. <laughs> all right, man, so uh, that's pretty much the list of complaints. Yeah. Oh, oh uh, uh, we also found that the, the column was leaking a little yeah, bit. Yeah, there's a few leaks in the column, but I think that's probably putting it together or... Switching out a gasket or... Yeah, yeah, yeah just, just getting used to it and... Yeah. Okay, cool. Now. The thing I think that did sneak up on you is the amount of time and money you had to invest on getting this thing ready between it showing up in the box and yeah. being able to actually run it. Yeah. I guess so everyone else can go into this eyes wide open. Yeah. Do you want to just run through that for us quickly? Yeah, so the so to get the still here, so when I first ordered the still, mm. um, shipping was included and I was gonna handle the customs myself. Okay. Um, but really quickly I realised that I needed to get an agent in. It's, yeah, it's a pain in the ass. Yeah, it? and so with, with the agent, it still came straight through customs. Um, the, the guys did open it up, so there's a bit of an extra charge there. Yeah. But it was a little bit more than I was thinking, so it's like $800 or so to get that. So okay, cool. To get, it, to get it into the country. And just so you know guys, obviously this is specific to New Zealand. I have no idea how this works anywhere else. Um, your mileage may vary, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Uh, so once you got it into the country, that wasn't the end of the, I won't call it a saga. So long story short, you knew you were going to have a electrician coming out to install the high amp plug. Yeah. But what you didn't anticipate is, for example, that this thing didn't come with the power cable to go from said plug to the box. Yeah. And it didn't come with any way of connecting the still itself to the control oh, box. That's absolutely true, yeah. Right. So you had to get the, the same electrician to buy extra parts. Yeah. Roughly how much did that cost you? Um, the electrician is a really good friend of mine. Right. So um, only a few dollars in, in parts from him. Right. But going to the shop, getting all the extra bits, so it was $250, $300 worth of hardware. Right. And that was at, um, at, cost. at cost, yeah. cost rates. Because so maybe 500 bucks or something. Maybe 500 bucks, yeah. yeah. Plus if you had to get an electrician in to do it, who's a commercial one, yeah. they would have been charging you time as well, so yeah, you could have been looking at grand or so, yeah. 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 Okay, uh, cool. All of that, summing all of that up, now that you know, <laughs> here's the question guys, this is what you guys want to know, <laughs> now that you know exactly how much it's cost you, and you know the amount of effort you've put into it, and now you've been able to run the still, are you happy this is what you bought? Yes. Would you Would you buy this again? I, I probably would, yes. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, and... We, we were having a talk about this off camera, and it almost, for me, it kind of comes down to just the boiler, the, the pot, the, because all of this, you can buy in bits and pieces, or you can make yourself, or whatever, but getting a, a jacketed still set up with an agitator, you got to have some pretty serious skill and probably kit to do that, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. and I mean, I, you could go down, with, go down the route of having a... Um, direct heating yes um but that does limit and i want to make gin yeah um so and i do have a gin basket as well sat, sat down in the corner if you're wanting to do that then the jacketed boiler really gives you the 
added advantage of being able to put the stuff into the skip stuff in the still. Nice. And I think the same as well for um, you know, whiskies and bourbon like as well, bourbons. Yeah, especially anything corn yeah. based. Yeah. All right, we've had James's thoughts, and in just a minute, I'm going to give you my thoughts, sort of sum up my feelings on this whole thing. But before I do, I need to say a huge, a huge thank you to the Patreons. Thank you so very much, Patreons. Uh, I get to do cool stuff like this all the time because of you, uh, and because of you guys, I get to share it with everyone else as well. So thank you very, very much, team. Uh, all right, guys, so before I get into my thoughts on this, I just wanted to touch really quickly on... I don't know what else to call it, but the morals of buying stuff like this from China. Um, I get it. Some people aren't going to want to buy from China. Uh, and some people are going to tell you that you shouldn't do it either. Honestly, man, um, it's up to you. And I'm not going to weigh in on this at all. It's a personal preference. If you want to vote with your wallet one way or the other, then that's up to you. Um, there. That's all I'm saying about it. <laughs> but uh, here's the thing, guys. If you take that out of the equation, um, pff, honestly, man, James got a damn good deal. I will put a link to a spreadsheet down below that'll have uh, literally an itemized cost of everything that he bought, including um, shipping and customs and the extra electronic parts he bought or the uh, electrician bought for him and all those sort of things down in the description below. So if you want to check that out, check it out. Uh, but the long and the short of it is that it cost James um, pretty much five grand New Zealand to land the thing here in New Zealand, uh, which works out to about three and a half grand uh, American. Now, if you take into account or, or you think about the fact that he's getting a four inch column with plates, uh, a D flag and a product condenser, uh, and and most importantly, a hundred liter jacketed pot or boiler, whatever you want to call it. I don't know, man. That's pretty freaking good value. That really is. If you think that there's better value for money out there, and once again, we're not talking about oh, it's shipped from China because trust me, uh, if it was shipped from China, Dana would have said so. This the quality on this thing was pretty freaking good. Uh, obviously, we'll check back in with James in a year's time or whatever. Um, and see if he's had any problems, but really guys, I couldn't fault it. There was nothing I could fault about the, the, the workmanship in the still. So if you take that into account, uh, I think you're doing pretty freaking good to get all of those things for that price. But in saying that, if you think uh, that you know of a product out there or a way of buying something out there for better value for money, let me know. Comment section. How about it? Now, obviously, obviously uh, building yourself, yeah, um, of course, but dude, I would, uh, I would not want to tackle building a jacketed still, especially with an agitator as well. I don't know, man. Uh, I guess you could buy the agitator, build a still. <laughs> That's not for me. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I hope you enjoyed having a look at someone else's kit. I know it's on the high end. Uh, we can definitely do these sorts of videos as well for the low end as well for the uh, the cheaper setups perhaps people that have been a little bit ingenious in how they've spent their money how they've got uh, value for money at the lower end or how they've set up cheaper stills if that's something you want to see let me know in the comments down below anyway guys uh, i hope you liked the video if you did give it a thumbs up you know it helps me out a bunch if you like these videos and uh you're not subscribed yet hit the subscribe button down below and and i'll catch you next time guys keep on chasing the craft see ya